guys, so we got the Sunday video as promised. I'm going over the GSCI receptacle tester, aka plug tester. Um, first of all, I'm going to go check and make sure I can do this right. I'm going to go test out the bathroom where I'll probably do this. I was going to do it uh, on this plug-in right here, but uh, that's connected to my whole room and I don't want to shut that off. So I'm going to try to just go do this in the bathroom real quick and uh, we'll see how that works. So first I got to test it out and see if I know how to do this still. So bear with me. All right, so I'm in my parents' bathroom right now. So first I'm just going to uh, turn this off. I'm going to trip it and then I'm going to make sure um, so I guess it's actually connected to my bathroom, so I was hoping it would be just connected to her bathroom, um, outside of her door, but I guess not, so, um, I'm gonna probably be doing it right here. So, as you can see, this one is not tripped, this one is just right outside the, the jacuzzi right here, so, um, this is clearly not for that. So, I guess I'll just, uh... Go ahead and do it here, and uh, hopefully they don't plug anything in, so let's get to it. All right, so since I want to actually show you guys how this works and not just talk about it, I'm actually gonna take this plug apart real quick, and I'm gonna have to move this mirror, um, so give me a second. All right, so because my parents are some kind of wizards, they uh, they uh, hooked this up here like with two nails back there, so there's no way I'm gonna mess with that, so. I'm just gonna use my brand new Jangas and uh, prop that away so I can actually work in here. So, all right, let's get to it. I'm just gonna take this off real quick. But first, I'm gonna make sure this is dead. So nothing is lighting up, showing it's dead. As you can see, it's still tripped over there with the light on. So um, this is connected to the other bathroom. So I'm just going to plug this, pull this out real quick and then uh, take the cover off and unscrew it from the wall. All right, so I got the cover off and as you can tell, it's really loose. Um, just going to take that off real quick and then pull it out. All right, guys, so pull this out. Um, as you can see, um, there is a like a power in and a power out. Obviously, the other one goes to the other bathroom, which I showed you already. Um, this is kind of old school, 20 years old, so they got the ground crimp in there. Um, so what I'm going to do, this thing is nasty. I've probably used it never, um, just because the mirror's in the way, so I usually just have to the mirror out if I want to use it. I usually just leave the toothbrush plugged in but uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to plug this back in here real quick. Um, so right now it's off. I'm going to go over here and reset it so that we'll be live here in a second. So now that I reset it, now that it's on, as you can see it's correctly wired. Two lights on on the right side, the orange, one, two. So that's correctly wired. So if I if the hot and the neutral are reversed, um, then it'll just have a red and a orange light on the left, and this one won't be lit up. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire that wrong real quick so I can show you. All right, so I went ahead and re-tripped it to turn the power off. As you can see, it's lit up over there again. So uh, depending on how they wired this, um, or how yours is wired, um, de depending on if the wire is curled back, it's going to be harder to get off the screws, but it looks like these aren't really curled, so I might be able to just pull it off. This one's already starting to fall off on the top, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these off real quick and then switch it. I'm just going to try to leave off the one circuit, so I'm just messing with the wires here and not the wires going to the other room. I'll try to identify those real quick and then maybe try to show you that as well. So one of the ways to get this curled wire off is just to stick your screwdriver in here and then kind of pry on it. Just try to make sure it doesn't really scratch the jacket right over here, but it shouldn't really matter unless the ground wire is touching it. So, um, or you can just use your strippers and pull it off, or uh, you can always just cut it and then restrip it if it, if you need to, and then take it off with pliers if that's a, if you want to do that. But anyways, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to peel this off real quick once I turn the video back off, and then I'm going to identify the wires go into the other room and basically how I'm going to do that is just um, leave one of the wires on and if this plug works then I know that it's those wires and if this plug doesn't work then uh, it's the wires for the other room so and then once I figure that out I will look in the box and identify the two wires going to the wires the two wires paired together and then just pull those off real quick 
It'll all make sense in a second here. So this is probably a bad idea leaving the wires loose like this, but it's just gonna be for a second. So um, they are touching probably. Um, so as you can see, they, they weren't um, connected, but uh, I separated them. So now they are, this is the left wire is a pair. These pair are touching the hair. And then I took these two pairs and, uh, or this one pair and uh, separated it. So what I'm gonna do is reset this real quick. If it starts sparking or something, I'm gonna turn it back off. And how I'm gonna do that is hit the test button, but I'm gonna hit that. And as you can see, these wires, the left wires are the wires for this room. And if I connected those wires, it would not power this up because it would just be the wires to the other room. And I'll try to explain that in a second. All right, guys, so I went ahead and connected it backwards. You always put the, the white wire, the neutral, on the silver screws, and the black wire always goes on the gold screw uh, for a plug, unless you're doing like a half hot or something like that. But So I want to go ahead and switch it so this is actually wrong. And then it will. these two will light up on the left saying hot and neutral reversed. And so these two will light up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. But So as you can see, now it is incorrectly wired. So the plug tester... It tells you when it's wired wrong. So if you go ahead and have your apprentice or whoever, or you're just doing it wrong, you're in a hurry, you're going through, you already finished the room at a at your job site, go ahead and put, put the plug back in the wall, put the cover on. It looks like it's done, but you put the plug tester in here. It'll tell you that it's wired wrong. So you know that um, it'll destroy something if you try to plug it in possibly. So um, it will tell you if you cross the wires, if it's correctly wired, the hot and, hot and ground is reversed, uh, if one of the wires is missing, if the hot wire is missing, if the neutral is missing, if the ground is missing. So um, it, it's really helpful and I'll try to go through the other ones real quick. So I'll just turn this back off and this probably won't trip because it's incorrectly wired. So I'll just go back over here and turn it off real quick, hit the test button. And as soon as I do that, it'll kill it. All right guys, so I go ahead and wired another one wrong. I'm just working my back way backwards. So right now I switched the hot and the ground. So the red light should just come on because I switched the hot and the ground. So I put the white wire back on where it's supposed to go and I put the hot on the ground and then the ground on the hot wire. So turn the power back on over here and uh, it'll just have the red light. So this is basically just an on off switch to the power because uh, the power is sitting here on the one side and then the load side goes over to here. So basically when this one trips, uh, it trips here. And I think this one should be off as well. So if I take the plug tester in a second, um, this one should be dead as well. So it trips them both at the same time. It's been a while, I haven't hot checked in a while, but turn this on, it's just gonna have the, the red light or something. So yeah, okay. I thought it. I thought it was just the red one, but there's also a yellow one, so that's correct. So hot and ground is reversed, so it tells you correctly the red and the orange one on the right. So um, that's rightly wrong. So then I'm just going to switch it back and then have the open hot. So I will have the ground wire on the ground, the neutral on the neutral, and then I'll leave the hot off, and then um, and basically nothing will work saying that. Um, there's an open hot. All right, so I went ahead and put the ground back on, neutral still there, and then we got the hot wire just chilling right there. So turn the power back on, nothing should light up. So I'm gonna hit this button right here, reset it. And as you can see, the light is off over there and nothing is working. So that means the hot is open, or the open hot, which means the hot is not connected and it's right there. So obviously it's working. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the hot back on and then take the neutral off and then it should be open neutral which means the the light on the right side should just light up all right so I went ahead connected the hot back up got the ground still on and now the neutral is hanging right there so open neutral the, the light on the right should just turn on so let's go over here turn the power back on reset the GFI and as you can see the plug tester is still correct so lastly I'm going to do open ground and that should just have the light on in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, that actually worked. That <laughs> scared me a little bit, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, 
put the hot, put the neutral back on and then take the ground off and then it'll just light up in the center. All right, so connected the neutral back, ground or the hot still on and then I took the ground off. So I'm gonna turn the power back on and that should just light up in the center. And as you can see, it has detected that the ground is off, open ground. Um, so right there is correct. So I went through all the scenarios, but I also want to explain the GFCI function of this real quick. All right, so I went ahead and uh, turned this back on real quick. So you got the test button right here. Test, it test the, it basically trips the plug, make sure it's working. The test function, and then you reset it right here in the middle turns the plug back on. So when it's tripped, either if you trip it from that plug over there or this plug right here, uh, this is just a test button to enact a trip. So this is basically saying if you have something in your house and it trips it, it's going to uh, protect you. So when you hit this button, it uh, creates a, a, like a pretend fault accident or whatever, ground fault. So um, you hit this button, it turns the plug off, so then you're safe, but um, this turns it back on, reset, and then that's just to test itself, but when you when it trips, it doesn't work, so um, when you turn it back on, I forgot where I was going with this, but basically inside the plug, if you check out my other video that I had to wire a GFCI or whatever, there's on the back of this plug, there's, there's a power in and then there's a load out, so the power in is sitting on the one on the the pair is sitting on the one side of the plug, and then on the bottom, the other two wires. Um, the other two wires are these right here. So this these are the load wires right here. This white and that black, and then um, these two wires go to the other bathroom. So why the why this plug wouldn't work um, if it was just connected with these two wires? Because the, the, this is just a set of wires that goes to the other bathroom. So there's no power. The power is sent. The power is sent from that plug on these two wires. So if I had these two wires connected, it would, wouldn't, wouldn't do anything. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back together. And I think that's everything I wanted to talk about in the video, but this is the GFCI button to test the a GFCI plug right here. Um, but this is connected through the load wires to the GFCI. So basically it is GFCI protected, but not a GFCI plug, but when you hit this button on um, on a the load side of the GFCI, so this is GFCI protected. So when I hit the button over there, it it's connected to here, so it trips it over here and then shuts it off. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this has helped you out. Just going through all the so this is cl correctly wired. So hopefully that helped you out. Just going through all the scenarios of the hot and the neutral reverse, the hot and the ground reverse, open hot, open neutral, open ground. So hopefully. It helped you out just seeing it over here so um hopefully that helped you out and uh thank you for watching the video i appreciate it god bless have an awesome rest of your day please hit that like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new or want to support me or check out some more videos hopefully this helped you out really enjoyed doing it and uh i hopefully and feel that you'll enjoy it so hopefully you enjoyed the video i uh, felt like it was a fun one so um yeah, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna put this back together and uh, actually make it tight because it wasn't tight. So anyways, it'll be better than when I started. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you later. Have a great rest of your weekend and I'll probably upload another video. Actually, I'll probably just go record the other video right now while I got this taken apart. So uh, I will see you guys soon. Check out this second video coming out, but uh, thanks for watching guys. God bless, have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. And if you're wondering what kind of plug tester this is or where I got it from, I got this from Lowe's, I think, or Home Depot, but it's the Southwire brand and I haven't had any problems with it. I have had the ideal ones and they really suck. The, I'd gone through like three or four of them and I decided to stop wasting $10, but no, basic, I mean, I bought it and then exchanged it because it kept breaking, but the prongs would, when you go to push it into the wall, the prongs would just basically break and then push back into the wall so you couldn't really use it anymore, so. Uh, I haven't had a problem with this one. I've had this for probably a year or two, but haven't used it too often as you only trim every once in a while and hot check. So anyways, I really love this brand. It's been really good to me. So hopefully uh, if you choose this one too, it will work for you as well. All right, guys, see ya. All right, so I got this back all connected. Power's still off, but I just wanted to say basically how this is an on-off switch. 
um, with the line and the load. Uh, you can work on this by turning that off. By tripping that over there, you can work on this. This is a dead over here, but you can always check that with your plug tester. And same thing if you're working on a light or if you want to work on a light, you can just turn the light switch off and then you can work on the light without it being on. Um, so it's basically just on off switch. As you can see, the power is off when the light is off or the plug is off when the plug tester says that it's off or when the power is tripped, as long as you know that that is connected to here and you, and then like if you thought that that was connected to here and it wasn't, and then you tripped it over there and then this could still be hot, but you just want to make sure with your plug tester, double check. And then, um, then you can work on it dead. So without turning it, turn the breaker off in the garage or whatever. So just a little shortcut, but uh, anyways, hope that helps to see you.